yeah. Okay, so. Okay, so if, if you're elected, uh, what do you do about jobs? Well, my position is, uh, is running for governor's council, and they approve the judges in Massachusetts, so I don't have a direct impact on jobs. But what I want to do as a member of the governor's council is get on the council and ask some tough questions that people care about. Like, where do the judicial candidates stand on victims' rights and mandatory sentencing for sex offenders? Do they think that it's their job to interpret and apply the law or to make the law? And judges should be interpreting and applying the law, not making the law. They're not elected, they're appointed. So I want to get in there and ask some tough questions that I think our family families and taxpayers care about, so. Oh, so, uh, you, you're, you're mostly with judges? Yes, that's what the Governor's Council does. They approve all the judges in the state, so nobody becomes a judge in Massachusetts without a majority vote of the Governor's Council, which consists of eight people. And I'm running for the 7th District, Jen Casey, it consists of 68 cities and towns. The Governor's Council has other duties as well, but the primary duty is the approval of judges. They also approve clerk magistrates, and both of which which are appointed for life in Massachusetts. So it's critically important that we get the right judges for the future of Massachusetts. And that really that really starts during the confirmation process because once they're appointed, they're on the bench for life. So you've got to ask those tough questions at the beginning. Okay, so then how, how's your stance on the Citizens United case that, was, that went through on the Supreme Court uh, a while back? What shot? What the Citizens they, uh, United versus Federal... Yeah, what was the issue in that case? Uh, corporate control of uh, elections. Yeah, that was a five to four decision. I, I got it. I didn't read the. Uh, I didn't read the full opinion. I know it was a five to four decision, and I'm not that familiar with the facts. So uh, I can tell you that Ma recently in Massachusetts, our Supreme Court has been uh, making some controversial decisions, and uh, one of which involves uh, Commonwealth versus Corey Russell, where a sex offender uh, conviction of a sex offender was uh, challenged and, and overturned, and it was held that a uh, sex offender did not have to wear a GPS on his uh, on his leg to keep track of his whereabouts because it was deemed a, an, uh, an infringement on his personal liberty. So as far as that United case, I haven't followed that, so I don't really think it's appropriate for me to comment on it. Okay. My focus is really on the judges in Massachusetts because that's who I'll be uh, working as a member of the Governor's Council to either vote to confirm or not confirm. If the people of my district are uh, put me in office on November 2nd, which I think that they will, because I think we've got the right message. All right. Okay. Th all right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jen Casey.